I wanted to make this video for you guys to share what I'm doing to promote the new album. Um, and I hope it really inspires you because we are going to hit the charts. I'm believing for it. We, uh, we started with our pre-order on, uh, on our own Kickstarter page on my own website. I didn't use kickstarter.com. I didn't use Indiegogo or GoFundMe. I used my own website because you always want to control. You want to be in control. It's the number one law of success. Maintain control. All right. Any of these tech giants can kick you off at a moment's notice. All right. You see the thing that happened with the truckers in Canada and people get canceled all the time. And you want to make sure that you control everything. You get your money right away. You get all the emails. You can control the upsells, the downsells. You can communicate with your fans directly. And um, for some of my coaching students, I give them my Kickstarter template so that you can have that on your own website, okay? So we did all that. Got like 600 plus um, pre-orders. And um, I got to submit those all to SoundScan, Nielsen, so we can hit the charts. Not all of them, just the digital albums and the CDs. You can't submit the bundles as far as I know. But we're doing that. Then we did another pre-order on iTunes, Amazon, and incentivized fans to, to do that. And now, uh, because I teach you guys, like, you gotta stop releasing songs and not marketing them, right? And keep being this lone wolf, lone ranger, even though Manifest, I run with wolves, I, I know what it's all about being the lone wolf, right? But you wanna work with other people. And so I spent today creating posts for all the guys that are on my songs. If there's a girl on my song, I'd hit up her as well too, but there's only guys. And uh, these are all guys with bigger followings than me, or just about the same size, if not bigger. And I'm making the posts for them with their part of the song, because I don't have ego. It doesn't mean to be my part of the song. It's their part of the song, so that when they share it, it shares their, them singing it, right? And I made sure it's a good post. I texted it to them, and I'll make sure I follow up tomorrow. I'll probably repost theirs and post that same one on mine and tag them as a kind of little reminder but I want to get as many streams as day of okay so I'm not only did I already release these songs as singles I'm now reactivating all these collaborations because now the album is out and it's just another reason to talk about it and those guys got a piece of the publishing and stuff too so hey why, why not promote it especially if they don't have a, a song coming out right one of them has a song coming out and I said, hey man, yeah, that, that's cool, man. Like, hey, I'll promote your song tomorrow too, and I will. I'm gonna make sure I stream his song a bunch tomorrow and uh, make sure I repost it to stories from Spotify. And man, you gotta share the love, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's more than enough room. And so I've already emailed my list multiple times today. I'm gonna email them tomorrow, day of. I'm gonna be pounding it every week. Gonna be going live on Instagram, YouTube, just reminding people, let them know, hey, we're, we got a goal, man. We're trying to hit the charts. We're trying to smash the record labels in the face and show that we don't need them. I fired my label to go independent and connect with my fans, my fighters. And that's one thing, if you don't have a name for your tribe yet, you want to do that. I know one uh, artist who named theirs uh, their Prayer Warriors. I thought that was so cool, you know? So you need to figure out what's what's the name for your, for your tribe, you know? I call mine my fighters, man. Because a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. But as you can see, I'm pretty jacked up. I'm pretty excited. Um, one thing I don't recommend, don't sell your house and don't move on the same week as release date like I did. That was pretty stupid. I might as well have gone on tour. Um, but uh, the point is, is you want to make sure you got block time, right? Like I've got to go to this house right now and finish a few moving things. But um, I got my ads going. That's the other thing I'm doing. I'm running Facebook, Instagram ads. I'm going to be running YouTube ads shortly. I'm also going to be running a, a Spotify playlist campaign to uh, to promote one song. And the song that I'm promoting on Spotify is going to be the song I'm, I'm promoting on YouTube. And right now, I'm actually not using that song in my Facebook or Instagram ad. So I want to make sure I'm doing that too. That's also the song that I'm promoting to radio right now. And so we're trying to just like... Again, I've always said, said it, albums don't promote albums, songs promote albums, right? And so I'm asking all my friends that are on songs to promote their song to promote my album, right? And so 
But the reason I'm going all guns blazing on this one song to radio, Facebook, Instagram ads, Spotify playlist, YouTube ads, because I know that one's the hit now. I've got enough data. I know it's, 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 it's the hit. There's other ones that are hits as well too, but I know this is one of the newer ones that's a hit. And so I really want to give it a good push. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I can watch the stats. And like I said in another video, man, you need 1,500 streams, okay, just to count as one uh, one album sale. I think it is actually one single sale. And I think it's even more than that. I can't forget what it is. But you need a lot of streams to count as a sale. So what am I going to do? I'm going to encourage my fans to listen to my music. Like, let's just put it on play, man. Put it on a playlist and put it on repeat while you go to sleep. And let's get these get these streams and stuff up baby and rock this and so I hope you're excited and passionate about your music you know if anyone gets upset about me posting or emailing or whatever it's like look I believe in this man I believe in this that's why I'm posting so much do you do you not believe in what, what you're doing whatever it is like I'm not selling I, I'm, I'm, I'm helping I'm getting a music a message out there because I believe in it so much right God's changed my life. He's given me hope. Yeah, I read about dark things. I talk about the truth. But eventually, I want people to be led to Jesus. And one thing I did this morning, because sometimes you can get overwhelmed, and you can get stressed out, and you're like, where do I even start? And I just read a devotion this morning. I just prayed said, God, just give me wisdom. It was all about just asking for wisdom and asking for peace. Because I can go through this stressed and have anxiety, or I can go through this with anticipation and fun and take relentless action, you know? The other thing that I'm going to be doing as well, I'm going to send out a text today, an SMS today to my list, and an SMS out tomorrow. So that's the other hidden gem that I do. And I teach you how all to do this in my coaching programs. Um, if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, just go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching. If you want to just join the 10X Your Fan Base Challenge, get a VIP ticket. Go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash live challenge. We're starting that May 23rd on Monday. It's going to be freaking amazing. I cannot wait to train you guys for five days straight. And uh, just keep taking action. And just know, you know, you're going to be learning for someone who's living and breathing, sleeping, eating this stuff, man. And uh, I'm in marketing mode. And I can't wait to get into writing mode, though, too, because, you know, I'm a creative, right? I want to write songs, but I also don't want my songs just dead in the basement. How about you? You know, do you want your songs just dead in the basement? Or do you want to learn how to get them out there and change the world with your music and your message, right? Go to smartmusicsbusiness.com forward slash live challenge. Go get that VIP ticket so you can ask me any questions. And also, so you can network with other people. All right, guys. Peace.